I love the slogan, your world, your say, because it really epitomizes what we're trying to do, and that is to engage young people in the whole European project, to get them involved, and to get them to understand that they have a major say in relation to decision making. We need young people to participate. We've got to get across the message that Europe is not remote, that it's out there, that it's distant, but that Europe is part and parcel of the everyday lives of everybody. And that what happens at European level affects the lives of every single citizen, but particularly young people and their futures. And that's the reason that we need to engage young people in the European project. I try and do it. I organise school debates. I use YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, etc. We've got to use all of the tools in order to convey the message that Europe is important. But above all else, that young people have a major say in relation to the future direction of Europe. And that's the reason I'm so excited about this particular project. My name is Francesca de Rossa. Uh, I'm pleased to have the opportunity to speak with you um, today. Uh, as a member of the European Parliament, um, speaking to the future leaders of the European Union, I would have to say the most important thing you can do, first of all, is to ensure that you are um, able to vote. Um, registering to vote, making sure you know what your um, candidates stand for, that they stand for the values that you believe in uh, is extremely important because the future of Europe will depend on uh, the struggle between different uh, val values. The values of solidarity, the values of um, social inclusion and indeed the values of peace. Uh, are extremely important for the future, not only of the country you come, come from, but for the European Union as a whole, representing all of the countries. So I would appeal to you all to uh, inform yourselves uh, about the politics of your own country, the politics of Europe, and above all, make sure that you know uh, the values that the people who stand before you for election uh, stand for, so that you can make a, an informed choice. Thank you. It is very important for MEPs in particular to engage with young people and particularly to do so by visiting schools, which I do quite frequently and I would love to do a lot more of. Last weekend I visited three schools and I was very enthused by the positive attitude that the students had to the European Union and the questions they asked me about it. And of course, I always encourage them to get in contact with me uh, through Facebook, through Twitter and also through the email so that if they have any questions which they come across when they are studying that they can be answered immediately. So there are plenty of opportunities to encourage young people, to engage with young people and I think then there is the formal matter of also Euroscola and the Youth European Parliament. All these things help us to come closer to young people and for young people to come closer to us and that's what we're encouraging. You can probably see a lot of people coming and going in the background. Most of those people are networking. You can contact your MEP and network and have your view heard by email, by letter, by telephone, by inviting MEPs to your school or your club. It can make a difference. Your voice can be heard. Take the time to contact your MEP. Young people can be very effective in shaping European Union policy not just in the issues that affect them now, but on issues that will matter to them in the future. As a member of the Committee on Education, Culture and Sport, I am working on many issues that are important to young people, such as social inclusion and solidarity, creating more and equal opportunities for young people in the labour market, in education and the European Union youth policy. The European Union's youth policies aim to meet young people's changing expectations and encourage them to actively contribute and shape society. It is extremely important that young Irish citizens engage with the European decision-making process. They can actively identify key policy areas such as education, employment, social affairs and the digital agenda that affect so many of them so that they can positively contribute to its formulation and its implementation. I wish you well in your national consultation and I look forward to reading the views of young Irish people in the final report from this consultation.